Hey there YouTubers, Jim from Ohio here, and I wanted to do a quick update video for the solar racking system that I put together several years ago. Uh, for those of you who follow my channel, you'll probably recall that I built uh, a tiltable rack for these uh, three 325 watt panels uh, a while back. Uh, these three panels feed my hot water heater, uh, and then uh, those panels right there feed some grid tie inverters that I have. And uh, I just wanted to do a real quick update video and let everybody know this will be the last update video that I do for this racking system. Uh, the reason for that is my wife and I, uh, I think I mentioned a while back on one of my previous videos, that we're, uh, we've been looking for another house to move into, a place, different place with uh, lower taxes and a little more land to work with. And uh, we did recently sell our house and we uh, purchased a new house in a part of southern Ohio and uh, we'll soon be relocating and I will be taking these panels with me when I move. But I just wanted to do one last update video to let everybody know how well this racking system has worked over the years. Uh, actually, the uh, system is still rock solid. We've had several storms that we've had winds in excess of 50 to 60 miles an hour, and this thing has not budged an inch. Uh, there are a couple things that I would do differently if I uh, or whenever I rebuild this. Uh, one of the issues that uh, I noticed right after putting it up is this uh, uh, wood beam that goes across the top seems to attract a lot of wood boring bees early in the spring or early in the summertime and so i have noticed uh, there are several places on that upper timber that just seem to constantly attract those things now i've sprayed orange oil and uh, other things to kind of keep those bees at bay uh, i've uh, uh, received information from others that uh, say to hang a paper bag so it looks like a hornet nest and that'll keep them away and I've tried all different things and uh, limited success but uh, the uh, upright timbers uh, they don't really seem to bother those that much but uh, just the timber that goes across the top this upper stringer as well as this support string down below they just seem to want to bore uh, all over the place uh, they bore holes in this so I think if I were to do this again the only difference that I would uh, make on this is perhaps replace these uprights with a metal maybe a galvanized post and then uh, I, I do still like this u-bolt uh, uh, that I used and I think I would use that again but I think I would just replace these with uh, some of this super strut right here maybe run uh, two pieces of the super strut across here and then mount these u-bolts right onto the super strut and that way I would have an all-metal racking system but uh, overall uh, both of these racks have held up very well to the high winds uh, they've held up very well to the weather and uh, they're very solid. Um, the uh, only thing that I've noticed uh, as far as the operation of uh, this rack is a couple times I've noticed that uh, some voltage drops. And um, in looking, what I, uh, what I found is some of these uh, connectors that, are, um, uh, that I use to uh, connect the solar panels uh, you can see there's a crack right there. Um, uh, when I notice the voltage drop rather than a crack, let's see this one is cracked right here as well. So um, uh, I think that I would probably find some higher quality connectors to go with. Uh, here's one that is really bad. Um, but uh, when I notice the voltage drop, as I was saying, uh, I noticed one of the connectors had actually melted. Uh, so uh, it had gotten hot and uh, just uh, was not allowing uh, full uh, voltage or amperage to go through the cables here. This one's really bad as well. So I think that doing this again, uh, I would go with a higher quality connector. Um, but uh, everything else, as far as the disconnect boxes that I've used in all situations, those have held up very well. 
uh, and that's that's all I can say that I would do different. Uh, but uh, for all of the comments and questions that I've gotten over the years for this racking system, uh, I want to just say thank you for viewing. And uh, when I redo this project at my new location, I will document everything on video and share it out. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch those videos and follow me as well. Um, now, one of the other questions that I commonly get is how did I mount the panels uh, to this super strut? And I think I mentioned on my construction video, and you may be able to see it right in here, um, they make, uh, the same company that makes the Super Strut makes a spring nut. And that is simply mounted down inside of the Super Strut. You just drop it right down in there. And then I'll try to get uh, uh, the camera up. Uh, on the inside of the frame of the solar panel, all I do is take a small, I think I used a, a either a half inch bolt or three quarter inch bolt, um, and I place that down through the frame of the solar panel along with a washer, and it simply goes through the frame of the panel and into the nut that is on the underside of the super strut. And uh, so that's that's all there is to that. Um, it, as I mentioned, it's held rock solid. These have not come loose at all. Uh, there's a little flexing you notice now as I'm bouncing. Uh, that's just the super strut flexing a little bit. But uh, as I mentioned, nothing has moved at all. Uh, now, one other person at one time mentioned that it's not good to have aluminum directly mounted to steel, that it can cause some... Uh, the differences in the metal can cause some uh, deterioration of the aluminum, and I've not noticed that, but when I take this rack down to move to my new location, I will take a look at that to see if that has occurred, and I think if it has occurred, what I'll do when I rebuild this is maybe put a, uh, maybe a piece of rubber or uh, some type of a material between there to form uh, some type of an insulator. Now, if I do that, I know that I will have to not only um, ground the rack, but I'd have to also ground each panel as well because they would not be grounded to the rack. And uh, I'll figure something out and whatever I figured out and decide to go with, uh, I will share uh, on an upcoming video. But uh, with that said, uh, this will be my last video on this rack. And um, if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see more videos or what I do in the future with these panels, uh, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified of when I put out another video on this project. Well, this is uh, Jim Jenny with uh, Jim Jenny, Ohio. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care and enjoy your day.